what the heck is going on with all these new types of SD cards? If you've been following me for a little while, you'll notice that my camera and video quality has been going up quite a bit, especially recently. So I got some new cameras, Sony branded cameras, that record some logarithmic footage, which is a super big bitrate, like 140 megabit. And to my surprise, when I first got these cameras, I was like, cool, log seems like the thing all the videographers use, that sounds good. I should switch to that. I like Raspberry Pis, so I have all sorts of different SD cards with different images on them. So I was like, oh, I have enough SD cards at home. Much to my surprise, there's actually a new standard, a UHS-2 SD card standard. So the main difference between UHS-1, which is normal SD cards, and UHS-2, faster SD cards, the number of pins for UHS-2. And there's already talks of a UHS-3 or SD Express, which increases the pin count to a third row if you want to have dual lane SD Express. So that's pretty interesting, and I had no idea about this, and I'm going to put an overlay over this, but there's so many different factors you can look at now, because you have, what does this one say? You got, it's XDXC, and that has to do with the capacity, and then it's got U3, so at least 30 megabytes a second, and it says V60, and the V is the current one that I had no idea about, and I wanted to share it with you. So if you have an SD card, and it says V60 or V30, that's trying to tell you how many megabytes per second you can consistently write to that card. So it's very relevant when you're trying to, say, record 4K or 8K or something fancier like intra video, which I'm not even familiar with, but I looked at the SD card website. I'm gonna explain all about it because that seems like a crazy big bit rate. And my big question, and if you know the answer to this, I would love a comment below, but how did Compaq Flash Express, which looks very similar to this, but is smaller, different pin arrangement on the back, how did that win out against SD Express? Did it just make it to market faster? I haven't really quite figured it out, but if somebody knows, I would love a comment below because this has really confused me. So now I not only need to keep track of SD cards, but now I have a Compact Flash Express writer and reader, and those Compact Flash Express cards are expensive. The writer and reader is expensive. Everything about them is expensive, but I will confess, they do work stupid fast. Compact Flash Express Type A, the readers are expensive. I mean, this is a very well-built one because it's made out of metal, but the thing can consistently read 450 megabytes a second off the Compact Flash Express, which is quite fast, which I suppose makes sense considering it's literally just an NVMe drive in a different form factor. But why didn't the SD Card Express beat it to market? I know SD Card has a huge dominance in all of these sorts of peripherals, so I do find it just quite fascinating how the Compact Flash Express was able to beat SD Express to market. I hope you've gleaned something about paying attention to SD cards and all their intricacies now. When you're ready to become an emotionally intelligent or high EQ engineer, you can check out my playlist up here. Or if you're already a high EQ engineer, you can check out my social intelligence or SQ playlist down here. Or keep doing what you're doing and getting the same results you've been getting.